Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart try launching the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder. Now open the game folder. Now over here you can see the game exe file so make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder if that does not work again make a right click go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game from here now the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so I'm not using any third party application, but if you're using it, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows setting, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in the game install in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open now once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now select the game exe file and then click on open once the game now click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select man properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. Make a right click once again, go to properties and then type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working in that case, you can remove this from here and follow the next step. Now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select a product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So I'll select GeForce. Now for product series, select your series. So make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. And then 
select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance over here now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see x86 and x64 file you have to install both x86 and x64 so click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download the x64 file as well again if you run this exe file Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed, so it's telling me to restart my computer. So once both are installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this, and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This is important, so go to Windows Update or Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer and after the system restart and launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using. So, if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disable overlay. So, for this, go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then check. Also, close. Uh, also you can turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience so close all the other overlay application and then launch the game also close all the other overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it 
in your case this would be highlighted so first of all make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game the last is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so first of all uninstall the game now once you uninstall the game after uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game installed to d drive or e drive try installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel